Terry Boots in the camera car, and that red car number one there is Alan Frost, who is struggling at the moment to get round Stefano Modena in the Brabham, which ran very well here last year. But you remember there were times last year when they couldn't qualify either. The, uh, the big unknown, of course, the Pirelli qualifying tyres for the last year have been recognised as being extremely good, but their race tyres have been a bit suspect. Well, for the releasing today, and these other Pirelli job people, they're not the least bit suspect now. Terry Boots, and you saw him rip away the tearaway shield on his visor, and when the sparks blew, you saw why he wears it. Those little titanium sparks will burn right into the helmets of these drivers as the cars bounce up and down on their suspension along these very rough Phoenix streets. Let's listen to the sound of this Renault engine as Terry Bootson takes us around. Let's try the night to get this fast coming up the car in front of him. there going from six back to the gear he wants which is probably second in that case missing out all the intermediate the screen it on the left Ooh, close to that apex there once again, once again onto Jefferson Street, and up to about 170 miles an hour just at this point. Hard on the brakes into turn one, down to second, as we heard, one shift for Thierry, if he goes into second, he'll stay in second, all through this right, left, left again, stay in the same gear through here, trying to use up all the road to get a good right-hand turn here, because he's going to shift up here a couple of times, and he's back onto Jefferson Street. Up to about 130, 40 miles an hour, back hard on the brakes, down to second again probably, turns left, now he's up to at least fifth gear, probably 135, 140 miles an hour under the Honda Bridge, hard on the brakes again, that car in front scraping, turns left again in second gear, quick short run here along Monroe Street, back onto Third Street, again in second, the only elevation change of this whole track is where they go onto this underpass, otherwise it's dead flat, down to second again, now onto Washington Street, you go up to six gear here again and about 160, 165 miles an hour. Not making much ground in that V8 engine uh, Benetton car in front of it. Hard on the brakes, that lovely shift straight back to second. Hangs on to the same gear, so again we've got a right left. Up a gear here. Then back again as another left. You'll stay in the same gear between this left hander and this next right hander, which brings you back onto Washington the gear, past the pit entrance, and then hold it, probably in fourth gear, around this long, 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 long left-hander. I said earlier, it's a 12-turn course, and David described 13 turns, call it a double apex there, just before they hit the first straightaway. Alicia is your leader over Berger, DeCesare, Senna, Martini, and PK. The lead is 4.015 seconds. Boutsen, Madonna, Prost, Nakajima, Griard, and Bernard fill out the top 12. Stay with us. Grand Prix here on ESPN. Jean Alisi is your leader. He absolutely ran away at the start from the likes of Ayrton Senna and Gerhard Berger. And with a V8 engine car with Pirelli tires, he is out front. And that is a very improbable turn of events.